This video is sponsored by Snowshare. Hello people from the internet, I hope you're having a fantastic day. That's like the first time I've said fantastic, like, in my life. But anyways, I hope you're having a good day, you know what I'm saying? We back with another video, you know what I'm saying? I'm on my grind, you know what I'm saying? What is going on? Anyways, I hope you're having a good day, um, and if you're not, I'm sorry, I hope it gets better. But, um, we back with another video, you know what I'm saying? So, um, there's, I guess, there's a split queue, which is just goes in half, which is the one I'm going to be doing in this video. And there's also, like, the three, or the two split, basically, but it's, like, three little, like, you know what I'm talking about, right? So, I'm going to be doing the split cube only, but by learning how to do the split cube, you should be able to make the two split one. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's good. Okay, so I imported the picture that I'm going to use. As you can see, it's Ghostface. I'm like the biggest Ghostface fan. If you don't believe me, just look at this. So just for this example, I'm going to be using this uh, picture. And I'm going to scale it up. And make sure to center it about right there. And then I'm going to comp it. Make sure you comp your image. Okay, so the first step is duplicating this image actually yes you're gonna duplicate this image in this top one let's just name this original okay and then we're gonna change the color to purple just to keep things organized you know and then for this bottom one what we're gonna do is we're gonna click this little thing right here and we're gonna click on proportional grid and it's gonna give us this grid you're gonna click on this rectangle right make sure the bottom layer is selected and then just double click this once you double click it's gonna make a mask of the whole thing right but we don't want the whole thing we only want uh we're gonna work on the top side first so what we have to do is double click on this the line and then just bring it to the middle and then you should have this and if we disable the top layer so you can see now it's like that once we have this we're gonna duplicate this three three times so one two three why three times because a cube has four sides and we already had that top one so you know what i'm saying four okay so now once we have this uh, you can turn off these little grids they kind of be annoying sometimes so once you have that we're gonna make all of these layers a 3d layer so click right here and then just drag it down and all of them should be 3d layers so once you have that we're gonna click on right here where it says one view actually nope don't click that go to active camera and then click on custom view one and now you're gonna have this if you click on the little camera tool over here then you can you can move this right so right here is going to depend on what composition size you have uh but we're going to click p on your keyboard to bring up position and then on the z space we're going to put 540 i believe and then that's if you have a square type thing my composition size right now is 1440 by 1440 it's actually the first time i've done this width and height I usually go with 1080 by 1080 if I'm doing a square composition, but I just wanted to try out like higher quality, you know. So now you're going to grab the bottom one and then you're going to press P and then this time you're going to do negative 540. And now what we're going to do is we're going to click on the bottom one and we're going to rotate this also. Press R on your keyboard and rotate the Y rotation to 90. And now you should have this. See, now that I see it, mine was a little bit off. Bruh. Because the composition size. So, for me, for me, it's 720. For you, if you have a 1080 by 1080 composition, do 540. Okay? So, do 540. Uh, and then, right here, instead of negative 540, I'm going to use negative 720. But you stay at 540. You stay there. Negative 720. And now I have this, right? So, Okay, so now going back to this right here that we rotated. What we're going to do is right here where you see snapping, make sure this is enabled. It's going to snap when you move it. So you're going to want to grab this and then just bring it back. And as you can see, it's going to snap. So we're going to click on this second one and we're going to rotate it as well. Negative 90. 
and we just want it to snap hold on there you go okay so now hold on hold on hold on this ain't even right what is that this wasn't even right it didn't snap right now it is okay so now y'all remember this top layer which is the original right there's no there's no mask at all so if we enable this we have this but we're gonna want to rotate the x rotation to negative 90 so negative 90 it should already be down as you can see it's at the bottom so you can let's duplicate this one now and then just bring the other one at the top and as you can see now you have the top of the split cube before we continue i would like to talk about skillshare skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills skillshare is ad free so you can stay in zone while you're exploring new skills there's new premium classes launched each week so there's always something new to discover and the entire catalog is now available in subtitles in Spanish, French, Portuguese, and German. I'm trying to get into cinematography and film production. And Julian Klepper has helped me achieve just that. By being a member, I was able to learn all these new things. And the first 1,000 people to use the link or my code will get one month free of Skillshare. Big thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And the same thing goes with the bottom one, but it's going to be like the opposite, if that makes sense. Okay, so we're going to grab one of these layers let's do this one and we're gonna duplicate it and let's change the colors to let's say blue turn off all of these so we can work then what we're gonna do is we're gonna disable the top the top cube so let's just turn off all of these okay so now we're gonna press m on your keyboard and then just invert the mask literally just click this button okay so now it's like i said it's kind of the same thing so we're gonna duplicate this three times so now we have four and then we're going to um and then right here we can just use these top layers to snap things together so if we just enable all of this we should have this right so what i'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this and then just snap it back here. Huh? There it goes. And then snap this one over here. Huh? Boom. And then we can go to this bottom one and then we're gonna rotate the the Y rotation. Like so. It should be negative 90. And then just snap it. And then let's go to the other side. Click on this thing over here. And then rotate the Y rotation to 90. And then just snap it like this. Um, and then the last step is just to fill in the, um, the top and bottom. As you can see, there's nothing. So if we disable these top layers, we, need, we still need the top and the bottom so we can just copy this one which i don't know why i have two layers of it but just, let's just bring this down right here and i'm gonna change the color to pink and then let me enable it and then basically just do this let's actually bring this to the bottom and then we're gonna duplicate Control d and then bring this up like that and then that's it that's literally it um if we enable these top layers as you can see we have this now is the part where you animate the cube right don't forget to go back to active camera don't forget so for the top layer i'm going to change all of the colors just so i know it's like the top cube so i'm going to change this to pink and then these bottom ones i'm going to change this to brown i don't know just a random color and what we're going to want to do is we're going to make a null bring this down and then we're going to select all of these by the way you you can just click on one click shift on your keyboard and click on the last one and they should all be selected so and now we're gonna grab this little whip and then drag it to the null so now if we move the null we press rotation this bottom layer is actually gonna move if we go over to custom view if we rotate this you can see this one moves and now we're gonna do the same thing with the top cube so we're gonna make a null by the way i'm using easy tools but by making a null you can just click layer new and then click on null logic and then bring this to the top make sure this is a three layer click on the bottom click on the top and then dra drag this whip to the null and now you should be able to control the top one so now we're going to make a new null to control the whole cube so we're going to make a null uh, and let's just change the color to purple just so we can know this is the main cube control and then make sure there's a three layer and this time we're gonna get the the nose get this little whip and pairing it to the top layer so grab this node one and then do that and now if we rotate this as you can see it rotates the whole cube so yeah so now right here you can go on with your animation but don't forget to go back to active camera because this is what it's going to look like when you actually render the video so we're just going to press s on the keyboard and scale this down something like this and then you can just go on with your animation. But that's gonna be it for today's video. 
today's video actually felt like an actual tutorial i don't know why but like i felt like i was like a whole teacher or something anyways make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video I'm trying to hit 50k by the end of the year we're already at 40k so i really appreciate that i made a new instagram where i'm going to be posting my edits and stuff and use my hashtag this is a new thing that i want to do um is have y'all use my hashtag and then i'm gonna make a youtube video where i'll react to your edits if you want me to react to one of your edits make sure to use my hashtag other than that i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you learned something um and yeah have a good day Deuces. Man, I swear last summer was like a dream Feels like last summer was like a dream And I'm trying to figure out I'm just trying to figure out what it means Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what it means